was thinking, well, like, how can I manipulate the exercise in order to still get a great workout, but maybe I'm not, cannot give my full entire strength to it. breakfast we have some eggs pepper zucchini bacon egg and just as flatbread didn't actually open up today but happy monday it is 12 17 i'm gonna eat my breakfast get to more of my work and start monday off the right way how you doing over there uh, terrific. Mm. i love school love school how you doing <laughs> I gotta make a call for him. Gotta do some bank stuff. Guys, so today we are doing upper body. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. After our pictures, <laughs> we're ready. And um, we're gonna get it tonight. This is today's shape. Loaded as hell. This is my shape. <laughs> but okay, look at that shoulder. Even before we start.
So we switched yogurts. Why did we switch yogurts? I forget. Because of stevia. Oh, yeah. It's got stevia, not yeah, Splenda. Yeah, a big argument at the grocery store. About yeah, that. so what flavor do you got there? I got, uh, I think, banana cream. And how is it? It's not as good as the other one. The one that's not the triple zero is... But it's better, and it's better for you, so... Yeah, everything is better for me. It never tastes better. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm glad he's eating the stevia one because that one is definitely better for you than Splenda, so he's gonna eat that. We just had a little bit of a meal and then we'll eat again because you know we're gonna have salad, salmon, dessert, the whole thing. But I just wanted him to give you a little review on that. All right, so my mom's friend made, baked her this pound cake and it smells like heaven. It's a pumpkin pound cake, and I'm telling you, this, this is a game changer. It smells delish. So what I'm going to do is wrap it in wax paper and put it in this freezer bag, and I'll be able to eat this next week with some ice cream. actually live for this time of the year because I love nothing more than pumpkin. It gets me so excited. Seven. Good. It was fun. Never mind. Finally get to have your salad. Savagely eating it. <laughs> got a salad over there. Everybody's got a salad with turmeric. <laughs> Alright, it's my nightly ice cream bowl protein ice cream, blueberry, and he has his blueberry with peanut butter balls. And these are the ones from Whole Foods, and that's what he put on top. Both of them in our cereal nightly ice cream. So I am feeling hella sore from today's back and bicep workout. I always like to switch it up. Me and Jess never do the exact same thing, just switching up rep ranges. And you're not always gonna feel super strong every single day. I told my clients, you're not gonna go in and hit a PR every single day. It's just not the way it is. Your strength varies. So when your strength varies, like I did today, like for lat pull down, I've hit like PRs with lat pull downs, but uh, that's a, really important to me for building my max strength. But today I was like, let me just do one and a half reps. And that sort of changed up the muscles and was sort of shocked the muscles, not what they were expecting as the regular lat pull down. So maybe I didn't hit a PR today, but I'm feeling sore and I feel like my muscles responded better to something different. So like next week I will go in and try to increase my lat pull down. But today I was just switching it up. So again, if you're not going to hit a PR, um, definitely like switch up your rep range as I was saying to them, like if you're doing a deadlift, take off the 45 pound plates and only add 25 pound plates and 10 pound plates to the bar so that you have a deeper range of motion. Maybe the weight won't be as high, but it's just changing up your rep ranges. Uh, your body needs some type of differentiate in order to progress and keep going. So that is something we did today, which was really cool. And we did like a bunch of different supersets. So you guys saw, of it, saw some of it in the workout. Hope you guys enjoyed some of the workout that was filmed. 
And I just wanted to add that in because I was having actually a conversation about that with my client and it sort of happened today where I was thinking, well, like, how can I manipulate the exercise in order to still get a great workout, but maybe I'm not, cannot give my full entire strength to it. So that was just something that I felt helpful for me and she found that really helpful for her. So maybe be helpful for you. Um, again, I'm always trying to just provide any source of way for you guys to learn from me and be able to apply it to yourselves and just keep getting better. So that is the main goal for me to help. You get better, I get better, we all get better. And that's that's why I like the fitness community. We all grow as a community and we can all learn a lot from each other. So just want to wrap up today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to conclude. I just want to say good night. Love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.